I love steak and I sometimes get two, so any vegan who thinks they're making a difference isn't. So if I showed you some footage of a cow being decapitated. But I would never watch that footage and I wouldn't, you know, I, I wouldn't even accept to view the footage. It's blinders it. on, as long as it tastes good. This whole entire world is blind. Think about COVID, mate. I'm not vaccinated at all. I don't have one jab, two jabs or three jabs. With the animal situation, I am going to be blind to that though. We respect you now because he told me you were on the interview with uh, Tristan yesterday. Oh really? He is a legend. Know, don't you want to know what you're contributing to to these animals? Like, because you're literally eating a piece of their body. Like, if I see blood on the steak, that's when I don't like it, right? And that's so bad. Like a true carnival. <laughs> the extreme, like, points that you try and make. You vegan? I'm happy for you. So I live and let live, right? Be happy for me. I am hypocritical. I'm ignorant. I understand that. I agree with that. I know what you're going to say. Why, why don't you show me that? Why don't you face the truth about what goes on to animals and act accordingly? What's going on, mate? Come sit down. Werber's original in my mouth. Worthers, but they're not vegan, bro. You're gonna sit down eating a not now. <laughs> I wasn't gonna be a dick and bring a sausage roll, but my no, mate no. recommended it. But, oh, mate, you want to get make me go viral? Oh, we, we respect you now because he told me you were on the interview of uh, Tristan yesterday. Or something. Oh, really? That's how we thought. Is we that what I have to do roll. to get respect? Hundred <laughs> percent. He and is a legend. Know, and you know, Tristan said that he won't eat meat like Piers Morgan in front of me. So we had Guinness and cigars. With Guinness is a vegan. Oh, beer, nice. So. So uh, yeah, I know. Why aren't you vegans? The question, right? Yeah, basically, I'm just asking people why aren't they vegan. First of all, I would ask um, because I don't know if you've seen the Tristan discussion, did you? No, I didn't. He literally told me. I, I just literally saw on YouTube. And I thought, Tristan literally legend. doesn't care about animals. He basically draws a, a, a flat line distinction. Animals, he said, he don't really care how they treated, treat them cruelly, whatever. But humans, he draws a distinction, right? Yeah, so my yeah. question to you first would be like, do you even care about the experience of animals? Yeah, of course. Like, there's a tiny bit of sympathy for them because uh, I've got pets and so forth, not ones that you eat like dogs unless you're in a foreign country. And I guess I, I took the distinction like, put a ball because I love steak. I absolutely love steak. Put a ball and a human next to each other, and it's like, which one would you shoot? Happily, the I'll ball. shoot the not happily. Well, obviously, I, I not happily. Be happy no, happily it. Yeah, you're right. Not nah, happily. I mean, not, no, no. But you wouldn't think twice to shoot the ball. You're not going to shoot the human. It depends who the human is. Uh, yeah, if it's so uh, if someone you don't I'm shooting them without question. If they're a pedo or whatever, shoot them straight in the head. Um, Facts, I'd do the same. Some, yeah, really? exactly. But Got to find their history. All things held equal. Um, a human being, they're not going to do anything egregious and evil over their life or whatever. In a vacuum, a human and a ball, I'm yeah, choosing yeah. The, the human over the ball. Right? Yeah. I'm not going to kill the human, I'm going to keep them because I believe that the human experience is a more valuable one than the cows. But I don't think that the cows experience is less valuable than your taste buds. Yeah, fair enough. So um, all you have to do is believe that the cow matters more than trivial taste, mm. their experience. I mean, I, like I said to you, the question is why aren't you vegan? That's why I thought I'd sit down because I absolutely love steak, I love meat, and yeah, it's expensive. But like, let's say you have them days where you're a brokey. Yeah. Be, be, being a vegan is expensive. That's not, you can't even deny that. Like, for example, any restaurant, like if I'm out and about right now and I want to go to a restaurant that's like vegan based, the, like the price of actual vegan food is much more expensive than if I'm a brokey and I want to go McDonald's you or eat KFC. Steak, bro. Yeah, but I'm it's saying, steakhead, I just mate. said before, oh, no. it, it, when it, I have my brokey days, okay. uh, and it, well, everyone has them at times. Yeah, no, you're right. You did, say, you did just say that. So I just think but it's I, like a uh, more expensive. Choice. On your brokey days, like it's well, it's not necessarily no. The cheapest foods on earth, but per calorie, are plant foods. So when you go to poorer countries, when they're in third world situations, like in the villages out in Thailand, or you go uh, in India, where there's it's it's rice, it's lentils, it's tofu, mm -hmm. it's plant foods, it's uh, bananas. They grow locally. It's uh, greens. Yeah. All, the, the cheapest food per calorie on earth is rice. Right. You're, you're right about that. I just no, got no. back from Thailand actually one week ago. So I don't yeah. mean to interrupt you. Eight days ago actually. Yeah. So I, I completely agree with the whole vegetables, fruits. They're so much more cheaper abroad. Yeah, yeah. But take like someone who's living base myself, England. Yeah. Fruits, you vegetables. You live in, around here? Oh, well, I just, you don't have to say I, where I you live. I live in Hertfordshire, which okay, is okay. Uh, thirty minutes away from yeah, here. Yeah. So basically, like I'm an activist, right? I'm not uh, a capitalist. I don't generate much. Uh, income you know really it depends on how much we want to spend so yeah. we're in london here and we go to a like a a nice vegan restaurant that's yeah. like on the high street it's going to be expensive for sure but we can yeah. go we can go into macca's right now and get for three pound fifty a mcplant okay i can yeah. get an extra patty for whatever it is uh, an extra pound or whatever Could be cheaper than we can go to burger man. king we can go straight there to burger king have got vegan burgers by the way yeah you can go to you got ben and jerry's there they've got vegan ice cream in there bella italia's got pretty good vegan see stuff. i guess you so, know all that info because yeah. like you say you're the, you're a vegan so you know the good spots but like for me because i've never opened my mind to that area i don't know where the good spots Tesco. are and i guess i would 
Sainsbury's. You can go into Audi, you can yeah. get like these uh, vegan sandwiches and that. It but just depends. To be honest with you, like, I'll be honest, like, I guess with the whole discussion, you could easily say, like, do you care about animals? But, like, when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, yeah. everyone drinks and they know that that's bad for them. Everyone smokes and vapes, but they know that's <clears> bad for them. Because yeah. I guess everyone's just ignorant to the thought that we're all going to die one day, which, yeah. to be honest with you, is true. And I always live every day as if it's my last. But yeah, you don't go doing bad buns. things that cause immense suffering and killing to innocent beings because we're all going to die one day i mean you probably eat chickens you probably eat pigs you probably yeah eat i heard it's mass produced it's pretty 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 uh eggs dairy story. fishing yeah I eat, all uh, of that's it all like i see everything as a non-vegan sure. right most of the animals here are factory farm the pigs yeah. the chickens uh the industrial fishing is filled with suffering so factory farms do you agree that they're like morally wrong do I agree that, yeah, because um, do I agree that they're morally wrong? Like, do you know what a factory farm is? Like, where we, we, we have an intensive unit, a massive sh uh, shed. And they're like mass producing. And there's like up to 50,000 birds in a so shed forth. and the chickens grow really fast. Uh, uh, about 40 days old, they are little chicks, but they're in a full, they're in an uh, overgrown body. Hello, Just move off the line. You can stand here if you want. Do you want to listen? Yeah, I can stand here. Are you guys vegan? No. No, no, he's not, but I am. Um... You can come in in the discussion yeah, after. Vegan. What's that, bro? Well, we have, that's why we're having a discussion. You love me? It love, is lovely. Do you like, jump on the discussion after if you want. Do you want to jump and have how old? He's probably a bit young. He's probably a bit all them, young. All them love bites on his neck. <laughs> you see that, bro? He's been high. I remember no. when I was 14, eh? No. Uh, so rude, so rude. He's having a um, big one. No, uh, like, so I, I get what you're saying. Do I agree with it? And intensive you know what? farms. Do, would anyone really, farms. if you showed everyone, like I've seen all the uh, all the protests that they used to do, the anonymous yeah. ones where they wore the masks yeah, and showed and the TVs. The yeah, yeah, for sure. And especially when I was in Sweden, I see them all is doing it, wrong? standing in a circle. What's on the screen? When you look at the screen, is that wrong? Of course that's wrong. But would, okay. do I look into it? No, I'm, I am ignorant you to the disconnect. fact that I just disconnect from it. I don't look into it because if I do look into it, then I probably would be vegan. I can't even lie to you because when I see like a pig hanging on a roaster, that puts me off. But do I love bacon when it's in the strips? Tastes good, 100%. Well, I used to eat all animal products for 26 years. I ate big stack. I'd go to the butcher, get T-bones cut off of the side. How of the do you cap. feel now? Now I look in the like. How are you feeling? What? I feel good. Now. Like feel after, good. like because obviously you've had a phase. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. You've had a phase where you weren't vegan, and now obviously you've been vegan for 10 years. You said. Well, when I, I first previously. went vegan, I went really healthy vegan, and yeah. I was like, uh, I got also got sober at the same time because I was okay. in gangs. I got I was on drugs. I That's I went to man. prison. Go I got on. sober in prison, and then when I come out. I uh, become vegan, right? Yeah. And I was get, eating high raw food, like lots of fruit, yeah. cycling, things like that. I was doing heaps of stuff on my just physical mental health. But now I just feel like a normal dude. Like, I mean, I you feel, feel better, healthier. Just feel... And now it's, I've been vegan nearly 10 years, bro. So, yeah, so now it's you're the just norm, like, bro. it's just the natural, it's the it's norm. It's I have bad like, days, yeah, I have so good days. I'm so curious to know how you felt at the start. And at the start, I was like, fuck, bro. I'll tell you a story. When I was not vegan and I started having raw food, like uh, green juices and that, I was like, I was on drugs because I just yeah. hadn't given myself like nutrition. Yeah, like you probably wouldn't see much and feel much of a difference. And it's not really even about that. Like it's about like feeling better in your, in your conscience about not doing that to animals when you've got a choice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Like, I guess like, I could be open minded to it and I'm an open minded person. But again, I'll just be ignorant and play ignorance and continue to yeah, but eat meat because it is good, man. Like, of course you've transitioned and you have a good, healthy lifestyle, but there's nothing better than going to a, a good steakhouse. There's nothing better than having certain meats that well, are good on roast dinner. Well, there's heaps better things than that in life. Y yeah, of course, like, I guess, because you're saving Family, animal. experiences, food, making an everyone's impact. everyone's got to eat, everyone's got to eat. Yeah, we got to so eat. So food-wise, would I rather choose fruit, veg, and like, obviously your alternatives, which I don't, is like your vegan I don't, burgers. Fruit and veg are not the first thing I go to when I'm hungry. For sure. But like, I go for, I go for a burger, burgers. a big sandwich, uh, a meal with, with rice or, and tofu, and like, uh, I, I eat good shit, man. Stuff, that, anything I want. Like, yeah, I of course. But my question to you, if I, like, I had an animal right here, yeah. and a knife, yeah. and you were looking at this animal, yeah. and I'm like, I'm going to cut this animal's head off so you can have a fucking steak right now, would you okay. be like, this is one of the best things in the world, man. Like. Nothing Listen, better than a good steak. Like, like you'd be like, dude, I don't know, man. Hey, like. I guess like when you come to yeah, talking about veganism, you've always got to mention animals because that's what we're eating animals. But I don't like when people on. jump straight to the point of if I was here with an animal with a knife to there, it's just like not how you approach the situation. Uh, like, well, of course not. Like I said, I just blind it and play ignorance. Well, you do. But like you when you put that, that but then when you cook that steak and you put it on a plate, it looks a lot better than how the ball looks standing there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's completely removed from what it once was, and it's a piece of flesh. Like you, like you've only ever known this yeah. world. You've only ever known this reality. You've only known, ever known a reality where meat is normal to eat. You only ever know that, that's, that that steak is like food. But 
when you like wake up from that reality and realize how it got to the plate, you're like, that's actually a piece of someone who didn't want to die, struggled in a slaughterhouse. That's a piece of their body. It's not a steak, it's not a food, that was them. A hundred years ago, who like, how many people do you think were vegan and like now? Because the way the things have transitioned and how it's moved into such huge marketing and everyone's turning vegan, like, uh, fair enough. I respect anyone who's vegan, like you, fair play, mate. Do you know what, fair play to, if you're healthier, you're happier, you do you. And, it, and it's just like anyone who's, um, you know, trans or whatever, by, you do you, I'm happy for you and that. But anyone who just tries to like push it and preach it to your face, that's when Let's I disagree. Talk about that. Let's you know? talk about that. That's when I disagree. Because Let's like, talk about that. Like you do you. You're vegan. I'm happy for you. So I live and steak, let live, right? Be happy for me. Live and let live, right? Yeah, exactly. Is that what you think? Live and so let if live. you want to go live. and create the demand for animals to be slaughtered against their will and eaten, yeah, yeah. you're allowed to do that. <laughs> if I want to not, I should be allowed to do that and we shouldn't ever like, live and let live. We shouldn't interfere with anyone's lives. I, I, when you put it like that, you, you try to make it sound bad because that is the reality, I agree. <laughs> I I'm going to get all the vegans at me now, but yeah, just live and let live. So should we, should we allow like, you to continue that supply chain without ever making you feel guilty about it and ever speaking up for the animals? Or? Sure, So when, when you say live and let live, what about their, their right to live? What about the animals' right to live? I, I, like, I care about they have animals right to, to an extent, but they have humans right come first, always. Humans always of come course. first. Animals but does second. that mean animals have, should have to be murdered for us just because humans come first? But it's just part of the life cycle. No, I'm saying, like, just because meat. we come first, right? Does that mean we're allowed to stab animals to death? Does that give us the right to? Like, we can still come first. Yeah, yeah. Like, rescue us first out of a sinking boat and then grab the animals next, mm. right? Yeah. In that situation. Sure, sure, sure. But I'm saying, does that justify us murdering animals to eat them just because we come first? Because that's a big jump, man. <laughs> that's an infinite holocaust of animals because we come first. Yeah, but bro, a sandwich and it's part of the life cycle. Like, humans for however many years and hundreds and thousands of years have eaten meat. So why change the cycle now? Because everyone's starting to talk up about things and, we oh, we should be vegan. Like. Who was standing here on a discussion, sitting here on a discussion table 200 years ago? No one, because Probably they enjoyed like meat. 200 years ago? Probably someone like William Shakespeare. Tom Talking Wilson. about veganism. Shakespeare had plays about veganism. But about do you see the point I'm also animals. trying to make as well? Like, yeah, I don't I mean, think I don't I'm know, gonna... I don't, even if there was no vegans, even if I was the only vegan on earth that has ever existed, what I'm, 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 I wanna analyze the validity of what I'm saying. Yeah. So do you think live and let live is really live and let live when, you're, when we're murdering animals? It's not really, we're not really letting them live, are we? I just think, Think about everything that's going on in the world. Yeah. Everything that's going on, right? There's so much bad in the world, right? So for me to just enjoy eating a bit of meat in a restaurant, I'm not doing worse things than some other people. No, I mean, of course, there's people that are doing, there might be people doing worse. They might be eating meat and f raping f and, f and murdering entire villages worth of but people. But like, don't get me wrong. Of I'm, course, I'm, there listening, are worse I'm listening to what you're saying and I'm so open-minded to, I, I am I'm trying to be. if it's and... justifiable, right? Like you get a bit of taste out of eating a steak. You really yeah, like eating steak, good. right? Yeah, yeah. There's it. a lot of things we really like to do. I mean, you could, you could think of a lot of immoral things where we could gain a lot of pleasure from that action, yeah? yeah? yeah. And, and, and let's just say we scaled up your pleasure. Like, let's just say we scaled up your pleasure 20 times. It was 20 times more tasty to to shoot an innocent person in the head and eat them. <laughs> but no one's ever tasty. eaten humans. I no, mean, no, obviously no, no, you've, no, got no. Your, you've got your cannibalism Wouldn't in that. Would it make part. it justified because you really like the taste? I just, the, the, the extreme like points that you try and make, like when you're trying yeah, you, to, you're, like it's, it's always like, what if I was standing here with a ball to a knife to exactly. the neck? Would you want, exactly, that's but a good question. that's never going to happen. You're never going to bring no, a ball here with a knife it's to It's just neck, a hypothetical, you know I mean? man. I know, I know what you're saying, I know what you're it's saying. Just, it is like, a hypothetical, to get people to think. Hypotheticals are really good to test your moral view. No, you're right. And there's no other way. I can't actually kill a cow and go, of, how do you feel about that? Of course, of so course. So we can say, what, how would you feel about this situation over there? Like everyone uses hypotheticals until they don't like them when they start to uncover something about their moral view that's inconsistent. Sure, and I'll say But we use them all the time. Like if I see blood on a stake, that's when I don't like it. Right, and that's so bad. He true hates that. He true hates carnival. that. He hates that. Like a true carnival. <laughs> no, well, and if so, if I had a knife and an yeah. animal here, and yeah. they're just chilling. No, right? I wouldn't like that. Of and course not. Like, let's like, say, let's say it was the bull. My, I love steak. I see that, yeah. And I saw you like slicing the neck. They're usually young. They're about. I don't know, two years old? No, I wouldn't like two that. Two years of old? Like, of course, I, I still have a heart. Like, I don't want to see someone get killed. Just but like, you do care. You, you have a heart. Hey, I would potentially in the future turn vegan one day, maybe. But right now, I'm enjoying meat too much. So if I showed you some footage of a cow being decapitated right now? <laughs> I would never watch that footage. And I wouldn't, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't even accept to view the footage. Exactly. Because no, just no, like wow. people watch certain things about why you shouldn't eat McDonald's, I just won't watch it. Because in the well, meantime, I'm not saying you shouldn't for the short-term enjoyment of it, Oh, I'll, I'll take it, you know? Don't you want to know what you're contributing to to these animals? Like, because you're literally eating a piece of their body. But bro... Like, don't you want to know how that come about? Like, it's really just slaughterhouse plate, right? Or, or raised in some horrible way, experience a slaughterhouse plate. It's like a pretty close connection in the supply chain. It's a bang, bang, it's right there. 
Like, don't you want to know what happened to that animal in order for you to eat them? As like, long just as it tastes curious. good, like, I don't really so like, I don't do the blinders back on, as long as it tastes good, everything. But this whole entire world is blind. Think about COVID, mate. A test for everyone's compliance. 99% of people passed that and complied. The 1% that didn't comply were the people that actually had a bit of sense in their mind. Just like here, it's all about, like, Blind, blind, blind. I've, I'm going to choose what I'm going to be blind in. Did I comply during I COVID to certain things? You're making an analogy like, about blindness like did, and about... Uh, no, you are. You're making an analogy about there's certain contexts where we're ignorant to certain information. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? Like, there's certain things I'll be ignorant to. Like, for example, I, oh, yeah. did I comply during COVID to the majority of it? No. Did I fly abroad to avoid any parts of where I, I had to try and abide by the law? Am I vaccinated? I'm not vaccinated at all. I don't have one jab, two jabs or three jabs. And so, okay, with the animal situation, I am going to be blind to that though. Like I could open my so mind. If I opened my second, mind, I'd be vegan. I'd if be you're vegan. If you're vaccinated, you see, you might have you might have come across some um, some kind of media that p persuaded you of some kind of fact. Yeah. Therefore, you 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 enlightened yourself. Whether we disagree or agree on vaccination. Sure, 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 sure. sure. You enlightened yourself in some way. And you made a decision based off that knowledge. Yeah, exactly. And 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 then you you acted on that. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, okay. for sure. So just like you if you were say, to give me that information, I would. Second, <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Why, why don't you show me that? Why don't you face the truth about what goes on to animals and act accordingly? Because yeah. you, I think you're stuck in comfortable, like you're you're stuck in comfort, and it's better to be comfortably unaware, blissfully unaware. There's actually blissfully ignorant. There's a, there's a phrase. There's so there. many things people blissfully do. Ignorant. They don't face the truth. There's so many but, people, but and not, I'll choose the one, one thing I won't choose to face the, the truth thing you do three on times is the way a day. they're slaughtered. So you, you have a problem with the way they're slaughtered? If you're talking about mass slaughterhouses, like you already said, I haven't viewed videos on it and so forth, but if it's a mass slaughterhouse, nothing's ever going to be good from that, right? If it's okay. mass production, you okay. know that. Like, and, I, and I'll agree with you on that, because if they're mass producing, they're not going to have any due diligence or care for the animal. Exactly right. right. Exactly like, right. You want to hear that exactly part, right? right? But it won't change Otherwise, it's a view, fantasy. And I will it's a fan People state. think that you're still going to eat I will. There's nothing that we do that is as evil in terms of morality. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing on earth that even comes close to what we do to animals. At the Holocaust? In terms of it's not as evil as killing well, animals. Well, I mean, in terms of individuals, obviously, I believe... Okay, human numbers, being, fair enough. I believe a human being's life is more valuable and that a Holocaust uh, affects the whole human race and causes a bunch of, like, knock-on generational suffering. And, of course... So maybe there's but, a few but, but things that... In terms of numbers... Are more cruel. When we start scaling up numbers of animals, and even if... It depends on how many animals is worth a human life. Even if you believed 100 cows or 100 pigs were worth a human life, the experience of 100 pigs was worth the suffering of one human, right? We have outnumbered the amount of suffering any human being has ever experienced in any atrocity by a billion by now if you just look at the the sheer number of animals we're killing so we got like between one and three trillion marine animals every single year and 80 billion land animals every single year most of whom will be factory farm experience suffering their entire life and be executed all the fish are dragged out the ocean suffer on a deck of a boat before they're executed so that's every single year right and we're talking about how many years how many years you, you start scaling down the number a little bit each year because we've we've grown to this number but this has happened to since we've been enslaving animals and killing and eating them yeah now, fair enough so let's like, think about this you, you've got the knowledge you've got the knowledge think about I, this. Okay, how many I people haven't. have ever existed in history i couldn't tell you that fact do you know just that over 100 100 billion really? just over 100 billion that's a lot of human beings well we kill more animals in about four or five weeks than the number of humans that have ever existed in history that is ever. a pretty wild fact okay but you've done that due diligence and knowledge right in five weeks but Four steak is good, it? mate. Steak we'll, we'll is so good. We'll chuck it up good. on the screen. Yeah, but does it's it justify good. this? Okay, maybe it doesn't justify it, but we're like, oh. Sex feels really good, but rape is evil. It doesn't justify rape. Steak well, that, tastes good, but are we really Are that. we really going with that analogy? No. Sex feels good, but rape is evil. Steak tastes good? Yeah. I'm not going to deny you see steak Yeah, yeah, okay, so sure. Steak, yeah. But, but murder is wrong, yeah? Of course. Yeah. So when so, you... so yes, the animal products taste good, but what what happened in order to get those animal products is wrong. I'm, I'm talking about... What about vegan meat? So you can still get the meat, it might not taste like exactly like a steak, but you can get vegan burgers, you can get vegan chicken, you can get vegan cheese, you can get vegan whatever you want, ice cream, this and that. So you get the same taste. It might be a little bit less at the start, but I still don't think that extra bit of pleasure justifies what happens to animals. So you get that bit, bit of pleasure, you still get your ice cream, but vegan versions, and don't get that evil mass genocide of animals on top of it. Yeah, fair enough, but I think for me personally, like, I, do you know what, you've, you're, you've got some very good points, and I like what you're trying to do here, you know, like, talking to people, trying to open their minds, show them the clips, because I, I am, I am yet, exactly, I am, I am hypocritical, I'm ignorant, I understand that, I agree with that. Some people, oh, I'm not ignorant, like, do you know what I mean? They'll get all defensive. Show me that clip, you'll probably turn me vegan, but I 
f***ing love me and I will continue to enjoy it because I just think I like to all right I'm not trying to go back and do history repeats itself but for hundreds and hundreds of years people have eaten meat so I won't change the process of life and the whole system that they've got going on simple because you love steak because I love steak because you got a dog in the game I love steak and I sometimes get two so any vegan who thinks they're making a difference isn't that's Please. not how it works really <laughs> You I just wanted to. I just wanted. I, no, I just good. wanted to say that I, it's not true. Just to piss someone off, because okay, I know how annoyed okay. people get on the joke. internet. That yeah, was a joke. Because, I can't even finish yeah, one steak usually. Because uh, I, I, I was gonna I, come. I, I was gonna come on here with this really close-minded approach and be a bit of a dick. But do you know what I thought? Do you know what this, this guy? He's gonna try and show me the video now. So this is an animal being decapitated. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. This is a sheep being decapitated. Is that sheep? Yeah. What meat did I? What what, what are we getting out of the sheep? Lamb. Oh yeah, lamb. Sorry, mate. I don't really. You don't eat lamb. Uh, no, I'm not really a lamb guy, to be fair. So where, where's the cow? I want to see. Where's the cow being decapitated? Where's the cows? Where's the cows? Yeah, mate. This that, is leather. That... This is India leather industry. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was just showing you. Yeah, of okay. course that's disgusting. Like, if I, no one's gonna watch that and go, Yeah. I... One sec. I'm still not gonna watch that and go, I so love this stank. cow here <laughs> is trying to escape. Yeah. So they're terrified. They're oh, about... sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Look so that look like? like? Yeah, like that's bad, man. Does that look like food? <laughs> like I said, if I see a pig that's been hanged upside down on a roaster, it, I, I would never eat it. There's a bolt gun in the skull. I'm hypocritical. This one's still like kind most of, people in the world. Like... And then they get their head cut, cut off. Yeah, that's. This is the... another one trying to escape. Terrified. They don't want to die. And is this the mass production? For... No, just average. Like just a I spot. actually did a. I actually investigated a family-run slaughterhouse myself. Oh, you don't. We yourself? start. Yeah, my well, investigator stuck a camera in the, in the roof, and uh, yeah, same. Shit. Cows come in, they they smell blood because they got a good sense of smell. They think what the f going on. He he, one of the cows like nu nuzzled off the stun gun, nuzzled it off before the guy <laughs> come in. So I think they were like freaking out like, what is that? Why am I stuck yeah. in this cage? And one cow like was so terrified they ripped their own horns off and their horns dropped on the floor, the f trying to escape. Yeah, and guy grabs him by the face, shoots him in the head, cuts their head off, throws the, his head, the head across the floor. So I've got a question, sorry. Um, I'm listening to that. Obviously, that's the, the extremities of the whole situation. Standard, that, bro. Yeah, standard. It's standard. Probably after you've done your indulged research and, and d deep diving, because obviously I haven't done that kind of uh, deep you diving. Should. But uh, for yourself, what's your goal? To turn the whole world vegan? To get animals rights, because I don't think people like yourself, you're not going to change, are you? No, of course not. Like, but if just like anyone place, who says, oh, yeah. I want to quit smoking. Well, they still won't quit smoking. Oh, I want to quit drinking. But they'll they know, everyone knows yes, drinking. Yes. Everyone yeah, knows drinking is bad for them. You weak. know what I mean? Pathetic, strong mindset weak. in certain areas. I thought you liked Tristan. I've got strength in great areas. It's all about alpha uh, mental strength. Alpha yeah, man. Male. Like, I'm all for building things, you know? Like, I've, I, I, think, I, I yeah. like developing things. I've got a great strength in mindset, yeah. you know? But just because I enjoy steak, it doesn't mean that someone's weak because they... You I are. choose not it's to weak. look into it. Of course, weak. people will support it, you because you've got a vegan audience, you know? But, like, I've got a strong mindset, like... Just because someone's not vegan, it doesn't mean they're weak. I mean, what no, about all the people that I'm have not built saying that. absolutely substantial, amazing businesses that have scaled to great, great. performances? Congratulations. That's strength, isn't good, it? Good, good strength. Good, good, good. But I'm saying you care about animals being decapitated, but you don't want to stop because you like the taste and don't want to change. I care about the human the most. Like I said, put, so, put so a human, I? put an animal. So which what? one do I shoot first? Straight away the human. Okay, uh, you said, oh, yeah, if so they're a rapist, straight if they're a the pedo. Just, yeah. We'll correct that. I straight said, away the animal. <laughs> yeah. No, of course. And if it, Please, it, even you. though you eat animals, if there was a cow here and a, a choice between you two, then I would begrudgingly and sadly um, kill the cow because I hope that you would change. Yeah. And I hope that if I did choose the cow, that you would change. How about this? Imagine if it was a hypothetical where you better stop eating animals or exactly what happens to the animals happens to you and all your family and every single person. But that would never happen in any no, world, no. in any realm. But, but you know, so it's humans, a terrible analogy. Humans are, I'm just trying to get you to understand the difference of perspective with human beings when they're the victims. Because as soon as human beings are the victims of some great atrocity, it's remembered forever. Even if it's a small atrocity like a, a, a smaller in scale atrocity because like a Because humans murder. come first. Yeah, I'm not saying they don't, but I'm just saying we're so. massive hypocrites because when we're the victims... We are, we are. I'm a hypocrite. If you were being imprisoned, tortured, bashed, gunned to your head, about to die, you'd be thinking, now I know how the cows feel. But because you're comfortable, you have rights, it's okay to be the victimizer because they, will, they won't have rights in your lifetime, so you'll get away with it and you'll die and get away with it. And the only thing holding you to account is your own conscience. You know what I mean? Like, like I said to you, there's just certain points in my brain that I don't open my mind to and access. And I guess I am close-minded on a situation. Maybe if I'd done enough research and looked into it more, and maybe I would be vegan. You can't, but... you can't teach people acting on their conscience. You can't teach that. Of course, I guess you have to choose to do that, right? Like, you can't learn that, man. Yeah, of course. That, is, is this right or wrong? Am I justified in doing this? 
do I care more about my taste than than this f-ing cow being decapitated in fear? You know? Yeah, when you say it, it like that, of course, gets you thinking for sure. But um, yeah, man, it's been a pleasure. I mean, I, I can't stay here forever, you know. Nah, <laughs> and my boys, I'm, with my, I'm just I'm meeting my boys in London. So, right, bro. Um, what's your name, man? Uh, Nick. What's your name? Joey. Nice to meet you, bro. It's we been good chatting. Good I mean, look, we have, we have, I'm you're sure cool. some people come on here and you're they get cool, all beefy. Brother. And you're I, cool, bro. I could have come on here you're and been easy, a dick, man. but you know. You're cool. You're easy. Thank you. You were like uh, easy going, man. Is what I mean. Yeah, I'm open-minded to things. Nice to meet cheers, you. Cheers, brother. Take care. Check out that interview as well, because I didn't check it out. My friend just showed me it. What Tate's? Oh yeah, yeah. I you know yeah, but we were more of a discussion. It was less of a debate. But he said that because sharks eat me, he doesn't he doesn't really care. But you know, animals maul each other and rape each other too. So, but Tristan just doesn't care. But you kind of do. Yeah, man. It's a bit different. Well, anyway, I'll probably post. I'll, I'll post the discussion on my Instagram. Get some people riled up. Oh, mate. Um, Have you got? I, a... I do uh, social media full time. I, I do. I make pranks and vlogs on TikTok. I've got like, five million followers. Yeah. So um, <laughs> that's what I'm here to do. I need to go film some pranks and vlogs. So, I didn't know that, do they? Hey, I'm sure that I'm sure you've been. That's why you're so easy going and no, good on no, camera. 100, you know, I have other things I'd want to say, but think about that. If one percent of my audience are vegan, fifty thousand are going to come at me, you know. <laughs> Soft. You should have been f-ing hard. Like Tristan and Tate. All right, bro. Nice, to meet nice you. meeting you, mate. I didn't know he has like five million followers, dude.